Back in 1998, uh, my dear friend, the composer Stephen Bryant, was visiting me in Los Angeles, and I was going through files uh, and sequences that I was uh, had been working on that I was going to throw away, just just checking them. And he was sitting in the other room while I was doing this, and I played this theme that I had an idea for, but that I hadn't been able to do anything with. That. And uh, Steve rushed in, he said, what is that? And I said, oh, it's just this thing I'm throwing away. I, I can't figure out what to do with it. And he said, mark my words, if you throw that away, I'm gonna steal it. So the gauntlet had been thrown and I started to write a piece around it. Uh, and it, it, it seemed to me to, to capture the energy of, of a running horse. And I, I, I ran, so to speak, with that theme. And this, this piece started to emerge um, capturing what I thought was the, the, the mythical spirit of the horse. So, so not only the, the strength and the galloping and the, the muscles, the tendons, but, but also distant horses and the English countryside, so actually quite a bit like the scene behind us today. Uh, I based the entire piece on the number five because there are five letters in the word equus. So you'll hear bars of five, four, there's leaps of a fifth. The, the piece is set up in structures, five sections. Um, and originally, uh, it was used as a commission for the University of Miami. Dr. Gary Green uh, commissioned me to write it. Uh, just recently, I've transcribed it for full orchestra, originally written for, for wind ensemble. This full or orchestral version, to me, uh, sounds like Equus the movie. It's, it's as big and visceral and as muscular as I'd always hoped that it would be.